previously, on Jenny LeClou. An unfamiliar feeling began to ferment in the back of Jenny's mind. Doubt. Why did her mother act so suspiciously? Where did she go in such a hurry? Jenny had expected answers, but now each step forward felt as if the ground were crumbling beneath her feet. Everything's super down here. Just wandering around in total darkness, trying not to get killed. Oh, well, if you need some light, there's one on your walkie talkie. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? You said not to disturb you. Jenny fumbled in the darkness until she found the switch on her walkie talkie. Jenny stood perilously close to the edge of a deep pit. If Susie hadn't interrupted her when she did... I'm going to have to jump to that minecart. But even if Jenny made the jump, she couldn't be sure it would support her weight. If it was going to fall, it would have done it by now. Steady as a rock. That's enough near-death experiences for one day. Tunnel 13. Unlucky for some. shivered as she realized the true scale of the tragedy that had befallen the miners. I'm standing in the world's biggest tomb. And if none of the miners got out, how am I supposed to? Fortunately, Jenny had Susie Glatz. Susie, Susie, come in! Thank goodness! I was worried you dropped your walkie-talkie. The line just went dead. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I need... Her mouth went dry. I need your... How could one word be so difficult to say? I need your... help. Jenny felt a wave of nausea as the words left her mouth. Susie, are you there? <laughs> it would be... An honor to assist you in any way I can, Jenny LeClue. I'm in Tunnel 13. I've reached a dead end. I need you to find me another way out. Of course. Just give me a moment. Found it. You're close to the extraction chamber, where they transfer crystals to the surface for processing. There's bound to be an exit there. But it's a long way up. You're going to have to climb. No problem. Oh, and Susie. Thanks.
extraction chamber. This is definitely it. like it might still work. I was better off in the dark. That was satisfying. But what did it do? It's a pulley of some kind. The rope must be attached to something nearby.
Shafts of moonlight shone through cracks in the ceiling. The extraction chamber. That was too close. I better get moving. in the air, out of sight, covered on all sides. The minecart was an ideal hiding place. of the minecart. She was confident the man in black wouldn't spot her, but she'd need to remain perfectly still. Even the slightest sound could give her away. seconds of absolute silence. Jenny! I just wanted to say, I think we had a really good breakthrough just now. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I can feel our friendship growing. I know it's a silly thing to say, but... Luck is starting to run out. It won't be long before he reaches the jail and realizes my mom isn't there. And something told her he wouldn't be very pleased. Are you trying to get me killed? Sorry. I just wanted to let you know I'm here for you whenever you need me. That's very nice, Susie. But none of that matters if I'm dead. Don't call me. I'll call you. big pile of rocks. They must weigh a ton each. The shattered skull of a long-deceased miner looked up at Jenny. Poor guy. Somebody's dad. He was still alive and no one came to help him. He never got to say goodbye. Jenny knew exactly how that felt. The Council of Three blamed the workers to protect their secret. 
Jenny folded up the letter and placed it in her pocket. I'll find your family, Samuel, and deliver it to them personally. And I won't rest until the whole town knows the truth. Fragments of quartz crystal littered the room. They're beautiful. She held one in her hands. It'd be a good souvenir if it wasn't so heavy. Structurally unsound, just like everything else around here. There are two minecarts attached together by a system of pulleys. After all these tremors, I'm amazed they're still hanging up there. was out of reach. Like a well-oiled machine, Jenny the Clue's brilliant mind kicked into gear. A plan had started to form. How can I reach the ladder? Stand on the minecart to reach the ladder. But first, I need to get it down. And I know exactly how to do it. The minecart is connected to a pulley. When I jumped inside, it lowered, but it didn't reach the floor. First, I'll climb to the top of the rickety scaffolding. Then, I'll jump in the minecart with my pockets full of crystals. The extra weight will carry me all the way to the floor. At the bottom, I'll climb out and push the minecart underneath the ladder. Finally, I'll use the added height to reach the ladder. Then it's a straight shot to freedom. Maybe I need more crystals. I can't fit any more crystals in my pockets. Hopefully this will be enough.
that work? Something's holding me back. Another transmitter on Glatt's core property. Susie denied her family's involvement, but I can't imagine they don't know about this. Jenny opened her eyes and rubbed her aching head. Ugh, how long was I out for? Things hadn't quite gone according to plan. I guess my calculations were slightly off. Fortunately, Jenny found herself in a familiar place. This is the tunnel where I first came in! Unfortunately, someone else had heard the commotion. Here goes nothing. Welcome back, S32. Access level Z Alpha granted. Disarming Blast Door 13A. For your safety, please stand clear. Jenny paused. She was finally here. Could it be true? Was her father really on the other side of this door? The man she'd lost forever. She would have given anything to bring him back. What would she say to him? How would she feel when she saw him? Of all the puzzles she'd solved, every obstacle she'd climbed, and every leap of faith she'd made, this was the scariest moment of all. Mom should be here. She needed her. She needed someone. Maybe even Susie. I'm not going to solve anything by just standing here. 
Arthurton had slowly revealed its secrets to Jenny, and now she faced the final chapter. Gathering her courage, she took a deep breath. This is it, Jenny. And stepped into the darkness once more. echoed in the darkness. dead end. Of course he's not here. Just another machine. Arthurton, a small town seemingly like any other. Nestled in a valley between two mountains, lined by lustrous forests, and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. Yes, Arthurton had it all. A main street with shops and a place to sip coffee. Schools, a college, a church, and a police station. The kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. But you won't find it anymore. For Arthurton is now... The Town That Disappeared. Where once stood a city bustling with life, now lies an empty crater. How could a town suddenly and completely vanish from the face of the earth? And if it could happen to Arthurton, could it happen to your town too? Scientists are baffled. Church attendance is at a record high. Is this a sign of the end of days? Tonight we attempt to answer the question, what happened to Arthurton? The Enigma Report investigation starts now. Jenny stared at the screen, astonished. Arthurton disappeared? It didn't make any sense. But of all the strange things she'd seen, one stood out more than the others. There was something at the end of the tape. Hidden in the static. 
It worked. Find Zazer. Need help? Was this the end for Jenny LeClue? choked back her tears. She had lost count of the number of times she'd almost died today, and it was starting to take its toll. Let's get out of here before he wakes up! No, wait! Keith, this could be the man who killed your father. We should really go. This could be our only chance to find out who he is. It won't matter if we're buried alive. Don't you want to know? It doesn't matter. What? Look! Damn it! Let's get out of here. That's what I've been saying! The truth is no good if we're dead. I said that, too! It doesn't matter who said what! Let's go already! For watching. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. If you want to see more gaming contents, press the subscribe button. See you soon!